Hey everybody and welcome to A Geeky Grind. This is the post-wedding pile of shame slash oh my god a bunch of stuff came in the mail while I was gone slash I did some trades, got rid of some of my nerd stuff I had up in the nerd bunker up north, just uh, stuff I don't use anymore, stuff that's just taking up space and took it down to the gaming store and did some trade-ins. So I'm going to show you the big pile of stuff and then walk you through exactly what everything is and that's going to be this week's Geeky Grind. So yeah, that is my drawing table full of nerd stuff and what is on this pile of nerdy stuff? Well, got a copy of Imperial Magazine number 14, that's the one with the armatory armored shipping containers. I got two of issue 13 with the five man assault intercessor squads. Uh, those three I bought while I was in Maine. Actually, one of the few things I spent actual cash on. Then for my subscription, we got another package of five man intercessor squad. Issue 12 with three paints. Another copy of issue 14, so another armored shipping container. Number 15 with the, uh, yeah, the Necron Flayed ones. Number 27 with the Hematite Reactor. Number 25 with Necron Immortals. Number 26 with a Tech Priest Dominus. I actually have three Tech Priest Dominus models already put together, so I'm probably... This, uh, this one might be up for grabs. Details later. Issue 24, some more paints. Issue 16 with some more Assault Intercessors. Issue 23 with our Canoptic Spider. Issue number 22 with the first half of a Skitari Vanguard. Uh, Yeah, the Skatari Rangers or the Skatari Vanguard, depends on how you put them together. Um, copy of issue 21 with the other half of that model kit. Issue 20, two more paints. Issue 17, another armored shipping container. Issue number 18. This is our Necron Technomancer. Issue number 19. Again, another armored shipping container. I, uh, I already own two armored shipping containers and I wanted to have six, so I bought some extras. Because uh, you get I think, three with your subscription, so I wanted to get four, so I bought a fourth issue. And then we got issue 22. And 21 again, so I have a double set of the Skatari Rangers. Because um, I already have three squads put together, but one of them is actually put together as the. Uh, not the Rangers, but the Skatari. Yeah, the Skatari Vanguard. Uh, so I'm going to do the same thing with one of these units and split it so that way I'll have a full three squads of Rangers. And then I'll have uh, two squads of uh, vanguards. So that is all the Imperium magazines. I backed uh, Rampart's City of Ru City Ruins, uh, their vertical terrain kit, on Kickstarter. So this is the base set. Then we have Vertical Bundle Part One. Actually, I'm gonna put these up here so. 
let's show the stack one. Uh, vertical bundle part two. And instead of getting the uh, Imperial Guard counts as proxy model kit, I got the regular just stretch goals. So this has all your little extra terrain features. It's even got like a hover car on on blocks. So it's got some cool stuff in here. All sorts of little doodads, so shield generator walls, AC units, stuff to really customize and clean out the rest of the kit. But that, that's a full kill team terrain set right here. Uh, fully, mod fully module, uh, everything can be either glued together or put together with magnets. So I'm actually gonna go the magnetic route so we can swap around and build different cool stuff whenever we want it, but that's my Rampart uh, Vertical City Ruins Terrain Kit. <sighs> of course, I got some of my bonus stuff that came with my Imperial Magazine. I got my second binder, I got a set of brushes, and I got the butt plug uh, painting handle. I normally just use my uh, pieces of wood scrap because I've got big hands and I like a nice big firm grip on it stuff. So I'm gonna review the uh, the Citadel one versus one of these in a later video. Uh, and of course, all the stuff that I'm showing here, I'm gonna be showing off reviews of some of the product pieces I got. So we've got tons of content coming out here on the Geeky Grind. Uh, I think it was set until like Christmas on miniature stuff. Uh, all right, these I don't really want to take out, but this is uh, me and my buddy Damien. We backed the Kickstarter for the Ukrainian Relief that we got STL files for a ton of minis. So inside this box are my sexy lady assassins. Uh, I've got the full eight. Here I'm going to actually prox I'll probably proxy these as Sisters Repentia, or just use them as sci-fi sword, power sword, power sword and dagger wielding girls for uh, for uh, some sci-fi role-playing games. But they're they're really cool. Uh, show those off when I'm cleaning up. Some there's some mold, there's some not mold lines because it's 3D printed, but there's some sprue there's some support pieces that need to be cleaned off and stuff that needs to be cleaned up. So show those off later. I want to get through all of this stuff in one going. Ah. My uh, adopted little sister Sam found a box of D&D minis in her storage unit and decided that I needed to have them. So I've got, it's still, it's been open, but all the cards and all the minis are in here. Uh, I love having the old, I had a Corona box full of these, but I sold them off to be able to play Magic because I wasn't playing a lot of Dungeons & Dragons at the time. And I still have my dragons from that, from the uh, old D&D stuff and a few of those minis. So it's kind of nice to find some of the old stuff and pick them up. I'm not sure because the paint jobs are really horrible on these. I might actually do repaints on these. Not 100% sure. Uh, then I got a Battle Sister Squad because I need to flesh out my sisters to actually be a full uh, 100, 1,500 points is about what we're playing for games in Holton. So I actually want to get my sister's army up to snuff so I can leave it in Holton and have my sister's army while I play up there and have the rest of my armies while I'm playing down here. Because, uh, yeah, spoiler warning, I got a remote part, a part-time a full-time job that's part-time remote, so uh, we'll be switching back and forth a lot of stuff between here and the office and the nerd bunker in the frozen north uh, for videos and stuff, so awesome. Uh, then also to flush out the rest of my sisters, I got the sisters combat patrol box set and I don't need the rhino, so that might end up being something that's going to be a future uh, I got some ideas for some giveaways. Okay, we're gonna start doing some stuff. If uh, if uh, we can start getting a bunch of likes on the videos, I'm gonna start handing out some free stuff. So we've got some free stuff we can give away. Then I also have an Imperial Knight. 
I love putting together my first one so much that I wanted to pick up a second one and I'm going to slowly work towards uh, acquiring the models so I can actually have a knight's army. Then uh, I needed some storage space. There's actually, it's the Warhammer Premium Chaos Kit, but there's also some old uh, second edition Chaos models in here. But I don't subscribe to the Premium for the, uh, for the magazine. Uh, the only two premium kits I the only premium kit I wanted to get was I wanted to get the Tau one for Laura's Meow Army, but I saw this and I was like, uh, I'm a few points shy on chaos, and I found out that if I have this and then I get the Chaos vs Eldar uh, Kill Team box set, then I will have and I think I need Abaddon, but then with my old Second edition models, these new edition models, I will actually have 2,000 points of uh, Chaos Space Marines. So, I'm slowly collecting Chaos as well. Uh, picked up some of the Citadel glue. I know it's a bit more on the expensive side, but absolutely for putting together the Knight and the Admech and basically anything that's not a Space Marine, this stuff is almost necessary. Terrain and resin minis and metal minis, great for getting super glue, but a lot of those little tiny fiddly bit pieces, the, the, this stuff just glues it right together so good. Uh, also picked up the Imperial Fist, uh, another bottle of Flush Terror because I got more Sisters of Paint and I'm pretty sure I'm going to run out of Flush Terror. Um, so that's one of the old contrast ones I got. The new contrast I got was the magenta, and I also got the Leviathan purple. Uh, really want to try out these three new colors. I already know that I'm. I love flesh tears over silver because it because it makes the most beautiful bloody metallic red, uh, and that's how my bloody my bloody rose sisters are painted. Is all their armor is silver, and then flesh tears over it. So I wanted to give a crack at the uh, Imperial Fist, which I fell, which has fell on the floor, uh, to paint up some more of my Imperial Fist dudes, and the, the purple and the magenta. I just wanted to try out some new colors, uh, and these two look really cool. So I figured these will be uh, some new stuff for doing uh, hair colors for my sisters. My sisters all have funky, funky hair colors. And then I realized while I was up there, I didn't have all my modeling tools, so I bought myself a second kit of modeling tools and probably should have left these up there, but I wanted to do a review with them while I'm working on stuff. So I'm probably going to put these in a flat rate box and mail them back up so I have tools up in Holton when I'm gaming and playing up there and if I've got model kits I want to put together, I've got my tools. And the last thing I got, I know I said I'm going to get, like, I do want to get the, the Kill Team Nakmon uh, box set, but I bought the neck, well, actually I traded to get the uh, Nakmon terrain set. So I have this, along with the Chalneth box set. Uh, and the stuff comes from the Imperium magazine. I pretty sure, and my Rampart Ruins. I'm pretty sure I don't need to buy terrain ever again. So I might skip getting the uh, I might skip getting the box sets for the uh, for the kill teams and just get the kill teams I want because honestly, I am done on getting more terrain. I've got, I still have my arena boards, I still have my, uh, I still have my uh, Pariah Nexus boards for old kill team, so I have some indoor kill team trains. I do love the new stuff and I love how there's, they're talking like the, the, the ones that are inside the Space Hulk are all going to be, you can use them together, and like, Oh, it's a huge big board, and that's gonna be fine. It's gonna give me inside stuff, and I don't have inside stuff. So I might get those, but definitely 
definitely no more outdoor terrain. Everything from here on out is going to be indoor boards and kill team. Uh, that's that's what I love. I love con I love dense terrain built boards. So that's why I got a lot of terrain out of this whole thing. But I also got a lot of models, and I got to get to work on building these. So thank you for checking out my post wedding. Uh, hall of nerdy stuff and yeah we'll see you next time while I'm built putting some of this stuff together peace